teach my poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacraments of, of the Lord's body and blood, and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. Sing to the Lord, be child of joy. Let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In the Gospel, Jesus reminds us that it is not power or authority, not wealth or seats of honor that will bring us closer to Him. It is better, ser it is being servants to one another. Only in true and honest service to one another will be obtained Christ's favor. Today we also celebrate Sunday of Cultures. May we ask the Lord for the charity to see His goodness in the diverse cultures and traditions of our human, human fellow beings. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. i 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our wills, our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Isaiah's oracle describes the servant of the Lord who justifies the people through his suffering. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to cross him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the Lord, upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. 
Jesus was like us in all things except sin. He knows our temptations and our weaknesses. The second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May we all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink and, the, and with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them and their great ones make their authority over them left felt. But it shall not to be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. On this 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the readings offer us a profound message about service, about sacrifice, and what it means to follow the Lord Jesus. And in the first reading, my dear friends, from the prophet Isaiah, we encounter the mysterious suffering servant. And Isaiah tells us that it was the Lord's will for this servant to suffer, yet through this suffering, he will accomplish God's purpose. His sacrifice brings about healing and redemption for others. Ang isang servant na ito ay hindi lumalaban sa pagdurusa Ngunit niyakap niya ito para sa higit na kabuhit, kabutihan. Ito ay isang foreshadowing of Christ na kusang tinatanggap ang pagdurusa sa kamatayan at kamatayan upang magdala ng kaligtasan sa mundo. Si Jesus mismo ang sumasa ilalim sa ultimate act of love and self-giving. And in today's gospel passage presents 
a vivid scene, my dear friends, where James and John ask Jesus for seats of honor and His glory. They want positions of power and privilege, believing this is what it means to be close to Jesus. But Jesus responds by reminding them and us of the true nature of discipleship. He says, whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. And Jesus turns our human expectations upside down, teaching us that greatness in his kingdom is not about power and is not about status, but about serving others with humility and love. In life, my dear friends, remind, it's reminded us that we are all followers. For instance, in the family, little girls imitate their mother some of their works or her works like cooking, gardening, or tending to children. Minsan nanood ako ng TV show at in-interview yung batang babae na 3 years old. 3 years old. Tapos, eh, tinanong siya kung anong gusto niyang maging paglaki. Mabagal sumagot yung bata kasi parang nag-iisip pa siya. Kaya nagbigay ng mga examples. Yung host, sabi niya, gusto mo bang maging doktor? Gusto mo bang maging teacher? Gusto mo bang maging nurse? At sumagot yung bata na, hindi po. Anong gusto mo? Gusto kong maging nanay. Tapos tinanong, totoo ba? Anong gusto mo? Gusto kong maging nanay. At bakit gusto mong maging nanay? Kasi ang nanay ko ay nagtotong eats. Kaya mag-ingat kayong mga nanay. Pinafalo kayo ng mga anak nyo kahit sa sugalan. A boy digs, play toy gun and shoot, paddles, fishing, farming, carrying of cars, games, and walks like his father. And remember this, my friends, it is a law of life that 85% of what we learn, we learn through our sight. Kung ano ang nakikita ng mga bata, yun ang alam nilang tama. But we should be aware enough of what we are doing, especially kung nakikita ng mga bata. We do not acquire much skills from words, but from the deeds or actions we observe. We are born imitators, but unfortunately, sometimes of evil. Sa bawat bansa sa buong mundo, ginagaya ng mga kabataan at those not Young, not so much young, ang pananamit, ang pananalita at ayos na mga buhok na mga bayani or their idols. Sometimes in sports, sometimes in commercials, and sometimes in movies. So ngayon, sino ang mga ginagaya ng mga kabataan? Nandyan ang BTS, nandyan ang Bini, nandyan ang Korean movie, ang Korean, at lalong-lalo na yung mga Korean movies and the likes. Bakit marami sa atin ang nagsusuot ng mga parehong uri ng mga gamit? Kasi sabi, na, sabi natin, sunod sa uso. In trends, ito ay dahil nakikita natin ginagawa ito ng ating mga idols at bayani. And it is sinasabi natin, follow the leader. Di ba may kantang, follow the leader, 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 follow the leader? Game all over again. That's why it is crucial for leaders to set an example for those around them. Leaders such as our parents, church leaders, government officials, and office holders are our heroes and heroines and the heroes and heroines of people. They are viewed as special by many. People look up to them, observe, and imitate them always. In other words, it's leading by example. Bilang resulta, dapat tiyakin natin o tiyakin ng mga pinuno, ng mga leaders na hindi sila magsasabi ng isang bagay at pagkatapos ay gawin ang kabaliktaran or opposite o kaya kung ano ang dapat na nakikita 
yun dapat din ang gagawin hindi yung wag hindi yung magiba o magkaiba sa sinasabi at magkaiba sa ginagawa gustuhin man natin o hindi ang mga taong naglalayong maglingkod sa Diyos sa kakaibang paraan ay may mga individual na tinitingala at hinahangaan ng iba kung masasabi nating tapat or honesty at sinasabing follow me sundan mo ako pagkatapos ay nasa landas tayo ng patungo sa langit o kabutihan and I will greet you. Congratulations. This message is especially relevant in our world today where success is often measured by wealth, influence, and titles. And Jesus challenges us to think differently. Tinatawag niya tayong maging mga taong mapaglingkod sa isa't isa at tumulong sa mga nangangailangan at handang magsakripisyo para sa kapakanan ng iba. Ito ay hindi palaging magaan o madali. Like James and John, we might want recognition or comfort, but Jesus asked us to drink from His cup and the cup of self-giving love. Today, my dear friends, we are reminded that each of us is called to be a servant following in Jesus' footsteps Whether it is in our family, community, and workplaces, we are invited to serve, to love, and to give of ourselves for the sake of others. When we embrace this calling, we become more like Jesus Christ, who gave everything for us. In serving others, we find true fulfillment and joy. So as we go for today, let us ask for the grace to be humble servants, to live with hearts open to the needs of those around us, and to remember that in God's kingdom, the path to greatness is marked by love and service. Amen. Please all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With humility and trust, O Lord, we confidently approach you and ask you to hear our prayers. And in every petition we pray, Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May Pope Francis and our Bishop, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the Church foster kindness to sustain them in their call to humble service. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May all who hold public office Promote unity to bring peace and reconciliation in our land that has witnessed social, cultural, religious, and moral upheals. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. May we, as brothers and sisters in Christ, show compassion and kindness to all, especially to those who are gravely affected by various challenges. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. We ask you, O Lord, to show our mercy and compassion to our sick brothers and sisters and to bring light to our beloved dead. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Loving Father, listen to our prayers. Father, you are gracious and merciful to all. Hear us as we call upon you today. 
Do not look on the wrong we have done, but in your mercy, look on our humble and pleading hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and you have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess our resurrection Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. all stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, with be with you. Peace be with you. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Just the 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present, present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer for the sick. Loving Father, we pray for the healing thoughts of your spirit to our brothers and sisters who are now suffering from illness or disease. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them so that we may bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering so that we may be able to offer and unite their suffering to that of Jesus our Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, our Lady of Piat. Amen. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so you may, you, may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hasting along in the path of God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Good morning and have a blessed Sunday to everyone. Good morning, Father.
before a crucifix. Please kneel. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul, pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiment of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious ones, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hand and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for a past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings, which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>